The angular momentum actually doesn't change. Wait, this is actually it's really kind of trippy. Crazy. I really need you to focus here and Yo, think about this. Yo, that's actually really crazy. So we've been discussing this question, right? Is parity conservation a law of the universe? Meaning that if I have some experiment and I do some experiment and then I do the mirror image of that experiment, the results of the experiment are exactly yes. going to be the same. Okay, so let's review a few a few things. Okay, certain vectors flip sign. Okay. Okay. Like position, for example, if I'm moving in this direction, in the mirror image, it's going to flip sign. Let's say the mirror is on the wall and the particle is moving towards the wall. Well, in the mirror world, the particle is moving out of the wall, wow. right? Yeah. Yes. So it's it's flipped its sign. Yes. Right? That's what parity means. We're flipping all of the X's. X becomes negative X. Y becomes negative Y. Z becomes negative Z. Okay. Now, certain vectors, these true vectors, they flip their sign. But then there's other vectors called axial vectors that do not. For example, angular momentum. Suppose I'm doing this with my hands. Uh, rotating in a clockwise direction. Yeah, so the spin the is towards the wall. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. righty-tighty right. idea. Yeah, righty-tighty idea. Well, that rotation is going to look the same in the, mirror, in the mirror world, right? In the mirror world, if I'm doing my hand like this, the mirror's trajectory is also uh. going to be going clockwise. So... In the mirror world, that the 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 spin is going to be going into the wall, right? The, the angular momentum actually doesn't change. Like on the left hand side, we've got we've got a a, a wheel that's turning like this, yeah. and so th the spin vector is to the right. Yeah. yeah. Now I flipped it along the middle. Mm -hmm. It's spinning, but the spin vector is still still mm -hmm. right. Yes. It's because I've changed both x and y to be negative and negative, and the spin is a product of my of the of those of those two coordinates coordinate so the negative you know it's still going to be pointing in the same direction that's so an electron that's spinning this way into the mirror is going to be still pointing like going the same direction, direction in the mirror in world the, in the mirror world it's this is this this is a crucial thing for you to understand this is i've never right and can you imagine it no, so i i can in my head yeah, like, uh, yeah no i can I can it's visually, crazy. and it's 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 making me uncomfortable because it doesn't <laughs> make sense. Yeah, like, but not 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 even that it doesn't make sense, but position vector like versus this axial vector, and simply like it, it's it seems like such a simple difference. Yeah, but the implications of that simple difference are are change because everything. The real underlying substrate here is that axial vectors are not true vectors they're kind of like okay they're they're products of two vectors I, right I see, angular yeah, yeah, momentum yeah, yeah. is r cross v so so because you put a negative on one and the negative on the other it's going to be the same right the position vector is literally like where am i going, going where, from where i went to. yeah there's no it's just there's nothing tricky right about it right but when it comes to axial vectors like angular momentum those things do not flip